We're building our checklist, our internal checklist. As a mech commander, we've got the map, we've got the machines, we've got the tools, the tech, the talent. We're asking the questions for particular mechs. How do we effectively use them? What's the strength? What's the weakness? And, and how can we leverage the strengths against our, our opponent and, and try to protect the weak, weaknesses? And we're bouncing around light mechs, mediums, heavies, and assaults. Usually I favor the heavier and assault machines. I mean, I have a lot of mediums, I have a lot of lights, I play them, but uh, for the number of V-Logs that I'm pushing up to kind of build up the archive here, because we've got a bunch of new players to battle tech, and I want to give you ideas with this Tactica. I, I want you to think of them as an introduction and hopefully inspiration for your own play style so you can go out and, and try out new ideas. Ideally, cut down that learning curve. You know, coming to the conclusions that I'm offering or the perspective that I'm offering, if you can do that in 10 games, hopefully we pick up some Tactica, you get that effect in five, and you start developing your own tactics. So I want to kind of um, push that momentum out. Jumping into the medium, looking at the Griffin. Well, I love the model. I love the name. And it has two weapons that are perfectly synced together. We've got a medium mech, okay speed. Okay armor. We've got jump capability, so it, it, it ticks off all those boxes. Um, some would say that looking at light mechs, light mechs need to have jump capability or insane, insane speed. Compare that to medium mechs, depending on the tonnage and the armor, you still got some okay speed. You could maybe get away with not having jump capability, but, but I like to have mediums with jump capabilities. So what this means is this makes... Um, the Griffin, a very mobile mech, has the ability to, to be where you want it to be, to redeploy, to get out of there. And when we get to the weapons, both of these work the same stock, a PPC and LRM-10. Now, you're not doing 10-10 damage every turn, but you have the, the ranges zeroed in. They match each other. So you can do the PPC and the missiles. Um, you're going to build up heat pretty quick because it only has 12 heat sinks. So shooting both and, and moving means that, that heat is going to creep up and scale. But you can definitely fire one and move. If you can get yourself into a good position, then you can just kind of go, I was going to say hold down, go mech down, stand still, and fire off both. Now you're not doing 10 and 10 damage a turn because the, the long-range missiles, they're going to be split a little bit, assuming that you hit. But that's, that's an interesting punch. That's an interesting punch of weaponry and a PPC having the range and having the damage and the long-range missile 10s being in tandem. This mech for a medium mech, um, it wants to excel at longer ranges and medium ranges. It has nothing. It's got no close-up game. None. That's why the jump jets are so important. And we're looking at stock. We're not talking variants. If you close with this machine, you know, three, six hexes away, I, I need to get out of there. I mean, unless I'm going to start punching or do death from above or, or kick. And that happens sometimes. Sometimes you have to brawl it out. But su surprisingly or unsurprisingly, I think it takes some opposing mech commanders by surprise for a medium mech at range, at, at medium range for the PPC and the missiles. It can put out some consistent damage. You know, it can put some hurt when combined with the speed the maneuverability, the jump, you can put some hurt on heavy mechs. You can put some hurt on medium mechs. Light mechs don't want to be anywhere near you. Assault mechs are like, yeah, you hit me. Unless it's a lucky hit, crit, or something like that. I'm, I'm good. I'll eat it on there. But that's an assault versus a medium. So the Tactica effectively, based on the terrain, based on what your opponent's doing, can you be in the right place to, to lay down that focus damage for two or three turns, and when your opponent reacts, get out of there. Then get into new position with the speed and the jump. Put down a little consistent firepower for two or three turns, get out of there. I mean, this, this is kind of the, the interesting aspect of this mech.